Hi, this is Sun Young, your option trading coach. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and get started here. By the way, thanks for watching my video. I hope that you could find some information that are valuable to you. If you're a trader, this should be very, very valuable information that you could get. But if you're not a trader and you have never heard about the option trading, you may want to learn wanting to do the option trading later on. If you watch my video enough, if I show you time after time after time that how easy it is to make money, just click a couple of your fingertips, right? Using your um, phone or computer or iPad, any kind of mobile device, you could do this. All righty. Now I want to share my special tool here. This is a fun little gadget. It's a, a pen that you could use it to write on your uh, screen, your computer screen. And it has to be charged. So there is a connector to charge and you plug this part into your computer. So when you turn it on, see the button right there? I, I could unplug this now because it's all charged up. So there's a little button here. You could just push this and your green light comes on. And that's how you know that this pen is ready to use and it's all charged up. Now I'm going to use a trend line here. Okay. Now, when I want to look at the... Um, my trade, let's say I want to set up anywhere between one to five or seven or 10 day trade. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be pulling up my 10 day trade. Okay, let me just move this a little bit this way. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to pull up a 10 day trade and I'm going to take a look and say, okay, well, is the market down or up? Well, just by looking at this candlesticks, obviously it's down. Now you see the market price here, 50, 51. This means this is the market of the Pfizer when it was closed at. But since then, it's gone down a little bit lower to 50, 48. So this is really a current market. And this is the market when the market closed at, okay? I hope that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing some lines here using my pencil. Okay. So if I want to, let's just, first of all, let's like take a look in here. Let's move this down here. Okay, there we go. And let's make sure that we could do this right in here. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line right in here. Okay. to be right there. Okay, and then I'm going to not draw another um, trend line here. I like it how like naturally you can draw a line straight without using a ruler, but using this um, fancy gadget here, you can move your lines up and down, okay? You could do it this way, or you could do it that way. But I want to show you just a straight. There we go. Okay. So let's just say I'm going to um, get into this option trading by looking at my chart. And I draw the two trend lines here. Okay. Cross way. And 
you could see the candlesticks like above this the top part of the line, which is called the ceiling. So in this 10 day chart, the ceiling is actually the very, very top part right in here. Right there, okay. Actually, um, well, I just wanna use a razor. There we go. And then I got to try it again. So you want to draw a line from the very, very beginning of the market, 50 to 85 right there. Okay. So this 10-day chart, the ceiling is very, very top part of the, the chart here, which is right there, 50 to 85 is the market. And then the floor is very, very bottom part of the candlesticks. So in this case, I would have to go with this 49.10 and that's the floor. Okay, so right there. So that's the floor. I will just go right in here. I know it's just kind of a little bit slower here, huh? So I hit a text here, and then you could put floor. You can't really read that, huh? Ceiling. Okay, so that's ceiling right here, and this is the floor. Now, if I wanted to either set up these options either down or up trade. And I would have to look at the chart first, make sure, okay? And this is where we're at. Now, let's just say I'm gonna do a up trade. So then you first draw a line here, okay? And just go with this, um, right in this, my um, trend lines that I drew. Just don't worry about the ceiling and the floor. That's just, we're identifying what is what within a 10 day chart here. But this is the um, lines that I would draw and I wanted to do an up trade. So I would just go right in here. We're studying up this candlesticks right in here. And that's basically like 50 to 25 is the price there on the Pfizer. Now, if I wanted to do an up trade, I would just kind of watch the candlesticks and see which way it's gonna move. Now, here's a 50 to 25 and he, here's a 50 to 85. That's only like 60 cents difference. So, you know, I don't know if I would do a up trade, but some of you guys may want to do the up trade and just take a profit, just, you know, do a trade quick in and out on one day and then maybe you wanna do them. So then I would just kind of look at the my drawing and see if the candlestick has moved up. If it has moved up, then it's a kind of indication so it's gonna go up. So then it would do an up trade. Now, if I wanted to do a down trade, then I would probably use my second trend line here on the bottom part of it. And then I would just see where the candlestick is moving. So you just kind of wait till it goes up and then comes down again. It kind of stays here in this area. Then I would go ahead and set up a down trade and hope to make money when the market has gone all the way down to like right in here. Actually it's in here because we're starting with this and this is the lowest. And so when the market hits down this low, then you could just, you know, sell your options after you buy it to get in, to sell, to close, right? And so you would just sell it off right there. And that's what, you know, a lot of people did. You know, red represents the people are selling off and then green represents the people are buying. They're getting in on 
you know, whether they're buying stocks or they're getting in on options or Forex or anything like that. So that's what the indication means. So um, I hope that this helps because when I was learning, I had no idea that, you know, what the top part of the candlestick meant. I thought it was just talking about the, you know, the market price, which is, you know, listed right here at 50 to 85. And then down here, it tells 49.10 right here. But I didn't know that there was a, such a thing as, you know, floor and the ceiling, which makes sense because, you know, where we live, you know, our house is built, the ceiling is top part of the house and the bottom part of the house is called floor. So it just makes perfect sense in a trading platforms as well, okay? I hope this will help and I hope that this will make sense to you guys. Again, um, it's not really, really hard. A lot of times people are afraid to take option trading class because all they think about is like, oh no, I'm gonna lose it. Well, you know, people that are doing trading or buying stocks or selling stocks, they're getting into their trades to make money, not to lose money. So if you think that you're gonna lose money, don't do it. But if you wanna make money, you know, you have to take a risk. It doesn't mean that you're gonna lose money every time. Today, one of my trades, I have to look at my journal again. I ended up closing it out. Um, let, let me see. Okay. On Wayfair. Okay. I set this up a couple of days ago. And uh, I it, it is a 17-day trade. And I still have a 15-day left. But I ended up closing it out two days later. And I closed it today. And I you know, open this options on a couple of days ago, and I made nearly $5,000, $4,900 to be exact in two days. See, if I would have said, oh, I'm afraid, so I'm not going to do option trading, or I have lost money in the past, not all of it, I made more money than I have lost overall doing my option trading, so if I focused on how much I have lost and I would stop doing that, then there's a lot of opportunities where I would have not made this $4,900 in two days. And my previous videos where I talked about, I made, you know, what, 49,000 or so in one to four day trace. And it took me, what, um, only less than five minutes to do it. But even in four and a half, four days or even four and a half hours, my most recent videos I shared, uh, four and a half hours, I made $8,760, but it took me less than five minutes. And so when you set up your trades, when you're doing dealing with the stock markets, don't have an attitude like, oh, I'm going to lose if you keep telling yourself that, you're not going to do it. Therefore, you're not going to have that opportunity to make money. We are afraid of handling our own money. It's time that we need to learn to handle our own money and have a confidence with our money. Because we have no problem going to work and making money. But once we have it, like, we don't know what to do. It's not only to pay bills. It's for you to enjoy money too. Yes, I've been there many times where that was my dream and that was my mission. That was my purpose to work and pay bills and to have extra money to enjoy it. But I never got to do that. Like most of you guys are in that same situations. That's what you guys want to do. Pay your bills and still have enough money to do fun things. But you don't get to do it. And that's why you need to find the ways to make extra money. Instead of working for somebody else, trying to learn the strategies so that you could stay home and do this. Why not? That's exactly what I did. It's like, I didn't want to go home to 
just so that I have to work for another company, right? Like I would go home after one job and then go to work for another company doing a different type of job. I've done all kinds of jobs. So I don't want to do that. But when I get off from one job and going home, being able to do this on the side, that's what I did in 2014. I did this part-time basis. And it was like my hobby because it was so much fun and intriguing. And then I thought to myself, hmm, I don't know, not too many people have a hobbies where they make money. Usually like they spend money to do a hobby and they continue to do it because it's fun, right? And they'll spend more money. Where me, my hobby was like making money, <laughs> doing this and I was making money. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so much fun because I'm not spending money to enjoy my hobby. I was making money. Of course, initially I had to pay to learn the strategies. So nothing's free. But once I learned the strategies and I came up with my own special strategies and now I'm having a lot more fun than I have ever. But way back when I learned this from school and I was like intrigued and it was like my hobby, I thought, I don't know. Like maybe I should just do this like part-time basis, which I did. And then it was so much fun and I was making good money for my hobby. I thought, why don't I just do this full time? So I did that to, you know, see what I could do. And now I mastered it. I mastered the techniques and the strategies that I have created. Now I'm back to part-time. I just do it like once a week, like maybe all may spend whole week, like maybe an hour at the most. And it takes me less than five minutes to set up like three, four companies and just watch the money work for me 24 seven, even when I'm asleep. So I just love it. I love it. Like I said, I can't say too bad that I didn't learn this way back when I really needed it. But if I did learn this way back 20, 30 years ago, I probably wouldn't appreciate as much as I would appreciate it now because I have to work so many hours. I worked full time and sold vacuums at night, uh, did a detail house cleaning and did a catering business on my uh, days off. But because I worked so much to make money, to make ends meet, to pay bills, now I'm appreciating what I'm doing, how I was able to make money, how I'm making money now. And um, just having the freedom of being able to pay myself if I need a twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. I just take it out. I don't have to wait till 10 years, you know, if somebody was investing my money in their investment companies, that's what I would have to do or never take it out because they'll keep telling you the longer you leave your money in, the more money you can make. It makes sense. That's exactly what I've done with one of the companies that I work for as a certified medical assistant. I got $25,000 $25,000 worth of profit sharing. And that's the money that doctors put in, you know, pool for all the employees that worked at the clinic. And I turned that over to investment companies because they said, why don't you turn that over to us so that we could invest for you? So I did. I left it there like four or five years. And at the end results, I only got $8,999 and they lost about $13,000. Now, I was very upset because I, that's the money for 13 years working for a company. Yes, even though I didn't put in any dime of it, doctors did, but still I put in 13 years worth to earn that profit sharing. And yet investment companies lost that kind of money. I was just very upset. But same token, while they were losing my money, I thought they were making, but at the end results, I ended up just only getting $8,999. So they lost instead of investing my money. But during those years, within a couple of years, they kept my money for about four or five years. During those years, within first couple of years, I became a millionaire just doing options. So yeah, and it's the company that did options and stocks and everything. So I was very disappointed. And I'm here to tell you that if you don't know how to invest, it's a good idea to have somebody else invest for you, but it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get your money invested properly. So in this space where I teach people, because I had to learn to invest my own money, 
so I could keep it all the fees. I don't have to pay anybody else the fees to invest my money for me, but I get to keep an eye on my own money, the percentage I'm making, 240%. Actually, I took my husband's money, his retirement working for government for 34 years of $164,000. I turned that into $604,000. That's crazy. $604,000. And guess what? Not 11 years or 20 years or 30 years, but 11 months, almost a year, 11 months. I was just shocked. My husband was shocked. He doesn't trust his money with anybody else but me because what I was able to do. But I had to prove that to him, prove that for myself. And he was able to see it with his own eyes. And then he decided to have me invest his money, his retirement money. So if you are looking to learn to invest and diversify your hard-earned money, please contact me. That's it for today. We'll see you on my next video. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.